Hey, what's up everybody? Vlog number, number four? Number four here. Milltown Clan ain't nothing to, I don't know if I'm, am I gonna title it that? I'll title it that. Anyway, checked out Zach and Wiki. Uh, Magdalicious bought this for me. She has a YouTube channel. I'll put her stuff over there, but she bought this for me. And it's actually a pretty cool game. I can't recommend it just yet. I went through the first level. And what they have you do is like, you have to, I don't even know where I put my, Wiimote at, here it is. Like they, like if you pull a lever, you gotta like do this. I had to saw down a tree and you gotta do this. So that's kind of cool, but there's a lot of talking. I don't like talking. So I wanted to say that. Vaughn uh, called me the other day, you know, I put my number in that video and he wanted to know what I thought about those eight girls beating up the one girl and wanting to post it on YouTube. And actually, I don't have a lot to say about that. It's news, news stories like that is the reason I don't watch the news. They're dumb and really not worth talking about. I mean, I've seen a girl get like curb stomped. <laughs> I've seen a girl get stomped out by like 20 chicks before, you know, down the street from my house, you know. So what? They didn't have cameras, you know. These girls are a little bit more high tech. It's just, it's a natural progression of things, I guess, you know. So now, you know, they'll beat girls up on... Whatever, I want to make this one short. I got a little clip of Robo Nuts. I'm going to just throw it at the end of this. Um, Thursday, I'm going to the Maharishi University of Management. Actually, I, I meant to put a video together about that place, and I, I never did. I have a bunch of old clips. I'm going to throw some of those from when I went the first time. It's a really cool place, man. I'm going again. Uh, Moby, you know, Moby. Moby is going to be there in concert, and I'm going to learn the Transcendental Meditation. I'll put a link to what that's all about. Uh, if you have questions about any of this, you know, just leave me a comment. It's all good. Um, so I'm going there Thursday. Some new and exciting news I got yesterday about this business that I'm going to start up in Milwaukee. I'll talk about that more when it's okay for me to talk about it more. Other businesses, the digitalbudo.com is going to be a, a place for uh, sharing knowledge and all this kind of stuff. Let me turn the speaker off. Digitalbudo.com. 414.org is going to be a place for Milwaukee, like a hub of information and hot sauce. And I guess those are the only two I want to want to mouth off on right now. And the website happybirthdaybitch.com is going to get a, <laughs> a facelift. That's my site. And I got happybirthdaynigga.com. I've never really mentioned these in videos or anything, but there you go. It's just old. I've been doing ridiculous stuff my whole life, man. It's video stuff. I mean, this is, you know, <coughs> I'm reading this book. I should be done with this soon. The Ethical Slut. It's all about keeping your pimp hands strong. <laughs> uh, oh, I bought it. I had the, my journal is almost out. So when I hit the last page of my journal, I use these moleskins. I thought they were dumb because they're expensive. This thing was like 18, 17 bucks. They're expensive. But, you know, my, uh, my guy Frost Fox got me my first one for my birthday. And something happens when you, here it is, my other journal. Something happens when you use a, a nice journal. You don't rip pages out of it. You, you treat it nice and everything. So I'll make that journaling video soon. Oh, the Milltown Clan. That's nothing really fancy or magical. It's just, uh, I'll talk about that in another video. If you got questions about the Milltown Clan. Oh, and I bought this, uh, I bought this, uh, I got a new, this is my new junior. I <laughs> felt bad about, so I got to get him hung up. This is junior. Um, I'm gonna just stop there. Milltown Clan, you can, oh, that'll come later. It's nothing, you know. All right. Uh, enjoy the rest of the videos I throw in at the end of this. Coolio, coolio, coolio. Peace. Junior, hello. Hello. Happy, happy 420. I only got like 50 seconds of record time. RoboNuts got him a new camera. Let's see the new camera, Robo. Oh! And, and I'll listen to the birds. I'm taking a picture. Of, like, boom, here, I got, a, I got a picture. I'm recording him taking a shot. Ooh, I will have a link to this on Flickr after we get that all sorted. Is it going to be sexy? Oh, uh, that was all right. All right, let's get a sexy shot. What is, what is this spot? The Milwaukee Performing Arts Center? They got it all up on lit up mode. We were driving by and was like, oh, oh, look at, hey, look at the power stands, power stands, power stands. <laughs> <laughs>
but I am in Fairfield, Iowa, uh, attending the Maharishi, I think I say that right, Maharishi University of Management. Um, it's located in Fairfield, Iowa, and this is one of their visitor weekends. Uh, their visitor weekends are set up for people who are curious and want to come see what it's all about. So, I don't know if I've gotten you curious yet. Um, the idea of the Eco Village is usually when you live like in a subdivision in the um, suburbs, you can't really do much for the environment. Um, you can recycle and, you know, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, caught it in the winter when stuff grows slow so we can catch up. During the summer, everything's a madhouse. Everything. Birds. So I guess this is. Oop. <laughs> I guess uh, they grow a lot of their salady stuff uh, that you know that they eat that the students eat. Uh, during um, you know lunch and all that, and then so this is in the winter. They you know it's it's cold outside. This is in the winter they grow this, and um, oh they order the rest of there. They got some organic people that they it's all organic food when you chilling at the university, getting your grub on. If I don't record this now, I might forget later. So all the food here is organic and vegetarian. And here's uh, some of what it looks like. I don't want to move too fast. Let's record the food. Look at all those pretty colors. It's nice and food has good colors. Okay. Go ahead and put it in. The rec okay. center. Uh, it's not 4166. What's your name? Sean. Now here's my kind of working out stuff. Like they got a big Big size rock climbing wall, ropes to climb, gymnastic stuff. I got a horse back there. Uneven bars. I mean, I'll be a monkey in there all day long. Um, there's something, there's something going on there. The digital media, media room, digital media. And this so, guy's like a, uh, like a pimp that wrote like a billion books or something. Is it time to move to next So here, this is the gold, is this the gold dome? Is that what this the is? The women's dome. The women's dome? Oh, can we go in? The men's one over there. Oh, is that where we're supposed to go? I don't know. But we can ask. And I went head first into the guy in front of me. I like, I like rolled out. Buzz kill. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, actually, not at all. I was just like, I was so happy. It didn't even matter. I was just like, whatever. Like, oh. like, oh, my foot is so nice. Like, you want some? Yeah. People actually often describe like yoga flying as kind of being a lot of fun, very blissful. Like sometimes people start laughing. Oh, yeah. just, um, and you actually have a lot more energy afterwards. Whereas if you were just hopping around, <coughs> you get very tired. So it definitely is not just like. So they hop on and during meditation, your body takes whatever it needs. So if you're very tired, you'll fall asleep because that's obviously what your body needs at that time. And that's why we have like a specified area for yoga flying because if you're, you know, trying to fly in your spot and maybe somebody right next to you is asleep, so that you, know, you can actually fly. That's why there's designated areas, which are the purple floating. Awesome. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions?